Hey you guys, welcome back to Quicksell. Today in this video we will learn how exactly can you connect a subdomain with Quicksell. So for some of y'all who might be wondering what exactly is a subdomain. So a subdomain is basically a part of your main domain. So now if I have to explain with an example, maybe you have a running website uh, by the name xyz.com and now you wish to launch an online store for it. So for your online store, you can have a subdomain called shop.xyz.com. So that shop.xyz.com becomes your subdomain of your main domain that is xyz.com. So in this video, I will teach how exactly can you connect your subdomain with Quicksell. So I go to the main app settings, click on view and edit your company details in here domain. And now I click on the custom domain option. So I now click on the option that is use a different domain and in here I'll be able to see I want to use a subdomain instant option. So just click on that, put across your subdomain name. Once you enter the name click on next and Quicksell will now give you instructions that you will have to go and change in your main domain provider portal. So these are basically DNS records and this will be entered from the place that you have purchased your domain from. So in my case it is godaddy.com and I will put across these details that is host and value for my CNAME on my DNS records. So now I'm on my laptop and I have logged on to my domain provider portal that is godaddy.com. So you can open that, you can log on to your account and once you're logged in, you will go on to your profile and then click on my products. So under my products, we scroll down to domain section and in here I click on manage DNS. So once I click on that, I get all my records here and in here I will have to change my C name. So I click on edit and I quickly see the details and instructions that the application wanted me to enter. So the host is shop. and value becomes domain.quicksell.co so I have entered the details now I click on save and the DNS record settings part is done now I go back to my application again and we see if the domain is connected or not so now I'm back to the application and to the page where we were connecting our subdomain to so as you can see shop.simplenkinger.com is now connected and we can simply preview our subdomain in the browser. So this was so very easy and if at all you have a running website already and if you wish to connect a subdomain to it, you can absolutely do that. Thanks for watching.